Do you have a a list in your head of qualities that you look for in men? Absolutely. What I pray it? for them every day. Um, like the the like number one thing is just like loyalty, lovingness, and like, you know, making me happy. So like what's the number two thing? Loyalty, lovingness. Like I like affection and like being like very sweet and loving. And um loyalty is number one, loving. Is 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 loyalty like has that been a problem for you? It's been oh, the sure. outside like, like, be factor in every relationship. Really? I'm traumatized. Like I think I might need a little therapy. Really? Probably not. But yeah. It's that's so funny to me. Like I had a list as well. Mm -hmm. And and loyalty wasn't on it because like to me, that's a fucking given. If you're not a loyal person, we're not even having no, a conversation. No, like I think this generation is so fucked up. Like bitches really think that all niggas cheat and like they don't. They don't, but a, a lot do, a lot do. Or maybe the ones like, I don't know, I seem to like be picking like the same type of nigga. Have you, have you ever caught a man in like a in the hyper, act. hyper elaborate, in the in act? In the act. No. Well, not f actually fucking her, but like one time, like I caught the nigga with the bitch in the car and he had her hide in the back seat. Yeah. And then I closed the door and went to my hotel. What's the most elaborate cheating scheme? Like, have they ever named the 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 person they're cheating with like a a, a homie's Hut. name, a P Pizza Hut delivery guy? Settings. Um, <laughs> mm, no. But then like, are you smart about it? Like one time, my homegirl was getting her lashes done by a girl who was fucking with my nigga, and like my homegirl recorded the whole conversation while she was getting her lashes done of the girl like talking about how she knew that me and this nigga was together and how they'd be fucking with each other. And she like helped him pick out the jet for the birthday that I went on. And, oh. and then he like begged her not to tell me and like sent her flowers. And then she like showed me like all the texts of him begging her to not tell me. So it's like niggas just go through great lengths of lies. Maybe it's time to try some white dudes. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, hey, I mean, That's what I'm thinking. Nah, nah. Nah, we suck as well. No, but it's not. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't, I guarantee you that. I don't no, know. Nothing changes. No, nothing no, no, changes. no, I don't know. It's, but you got to deal with a certain type of guy. No, but maybe there is a statistical breakdown. I, I don't, I don't believe I don't that. think so. No, I'm sure there's some level of, of statistics or data on ethnic cheating breakdown i'm sure th i'm I don't sure there's know. data it available goes, for everything. it goes both ways like you know latinos are known for being like super loyal and loving to their sweethearts but then also on the other hand they be you know just like y'all like why we it's everybody it's everybody it's all ethnicities it's hu we're the human race it everybody's the same it just depends on how you it just depends on how you view it right like there's a lot of people out there who view uh, there's a lot of men out there who view cheating as like something that's like somewhat acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like what you wouldn't want done unto you, you don't do to other people. Well, well, no. Listen, I saw on this couch and in this room get it completely. But what I'm saying is, there's a subset of men out there who think, yo, like, like, I provide, I make all this money, I do all this stuff for you, I buy you all this shit, whatever. Th this is not me defending it, but you mm -hmm. got to admit because no, you've yeah, been yeah, through yeah, it yeah, yeah. that there are dudes who think like this. One thousand. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna get mine, I'm gonna come home, and you're not gonna find out about it. And it, it, it is what it is. Like, dude, you see it in popular culture too. You see it on The Sopranos. Tony Sopranos got his guma, his fucking side chick. The 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 fact that the term side chick even exists is evidence of what I'm saying. Like, we 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 live in a culture where we're cheating is at least somewhat. It's it, a social norm right now. It is a little bit. It's not a social norm, but it's at least part of the conversation. But, but I've never cheated. So in is my being broke. Life. A lot of people are broke, and a lot of people are cheaters. And you know, I don't want to be as that. I don't want to be either. I think they're broke because they spend their money trying to not look broke. Ugh. The f the flex and the appearance perception is often reality for a lot of people. Can mean a lot to a lot of men, specifically yeah. young men. They're focused on the wrong things. Do, do you? ever reach out to guys you're interested in or you, you let them come to you i let them come to me. i'm old-fashioned in Always. that sense Always. right wouldn't i wouldn't you be a little suspicious